एलेक्स यार फ्रॉम हाउ टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डॉट कम एंड वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ हाउ टू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिजाइन एयर पॉल्यूशन मीटर और विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक एयर क्वालिटी मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम सो फॉर दिस विल यूज अर वाई फाई चिप दैट इज ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स नोड एम सी टूल ई बोर्ड एंड विल इंटरफेस सम ऑफ द सेंसर लाइक पी एम टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड देन बी एम ई टू एट्टी एंड एम क्यू वन थर्टी फाइव विल रीड द सेंसर डेटा ऑन सीरियल मॉनिटर एंड विल अपलोड द सेम डेटा ऑन थिंग स्पीक सर्वर यूजिंग सम आर डी नो कोड एंड देन विल सिंपली मॉनिटर ऑल दिस पैरामीटर्स ऑन इंटरनेट स्टेइंग एट एनी पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो विदाउट गेटिंग एनी डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट है so the components required for this project are node mcu esp8266 12e board any pm2.5 sensor in my case i will be using pms5003 sensor from plant power and we need bme280 barometric pressure sensor mq135 air quality sensor now let's interface all this sensor with node mcu esp8266 so pms5003 requires 5 volt so it is connected to bn pin of node mcu and its tx and rx pin which is a third pin and the fifth pin is connected to rx and tx pin of node mcu it works for uart communication and we have connected bme282 i2c pin like sdn scl is connected to d1 and d2 pin similarly there is only one analog pin in mq135 and that pin is connected to the analog pin of node mcu that is nart so now this is how we have connected exactly the same as shown in the circuit diagram this is the node mcu esp2e board and then this is bme280 this is the mq135 gas smoke or alcohol sensor this is pm2.5 sensor as pms5003 from plant power bme280 is connected to the i2c pin d1 and d2 plant power pms5000 is connected to tx and rx pin and mq135 is connected to analog pin a not all the sensor are supplied with 5 volt from b in pin from the node mcu now let us see the program here esp8266 wifi dot h library is for node mcu esp2 le board y dot h is for i2c communication with bme280 now this two library is for bme280 you can get this two library either from library manager or i have given the link in the description from where you can download mq135 library is for mq135 gas smoke sensor so we have also included arduino dot h library so we have defined some functions and some variable in the form of integers for pm1 pm2.5 and pm10 we have defined humidity temperature pressure for float similarly characters are also defined here so here what you need to do is you need to change the api key ssid and password so this api key you can get it from thingspeak now go to the thingspeak.com so here we'll read all the data that is sent by the sensor online from any part of the world so here you can sign in or sign up depending upon whether you have created account or not so i already created my account a long time ago so i will simply sign in so here i am able to sign in so now here you need to create a new channel so my new channel i would like to set the name as ear quality or your pollution okay so on the field one i would like to read the value of pm0 1.0 on the field 2 pm 2.5 on the field 3 according to the program that was pm 10 on the field 4 that was air quality on ppm on the five field it should be temperature on the field 6 it should be humidity and on the field 7 it should be pressure click here and save the channel so now you can see 
there are six field created. So, this is PM 1.0, PM 2.5, PM 10, air quality, temperature, humidity and then pressure. Now, go to the API keys, copy this API key and paste it on your code. You need to replace your uh, API key in the code with this API key. Similarly, Wi-Fi SSID and password, you need to change it. Okay, so under the setup function, we have initialized the function using serial begin 9600. The node MC will start to connect to the Wi from here. So, once the Wi Fi is connected, it will be ready to send the data to the ThingSpeak server. Under the loop function, we have simply uh, printed the value of PM 1.0, PM 2.5, and PM 10. So, this can be seen on serial monitor, which can be uh, which I will show later on. So, even using the MQ135 library, we will display the value of air quality in ppm. Similarly, here you can see we will read the humidity, temperature, and pressure. Okay, so this all will be displayed on serial monitor. So now what we want is we want to send all this data like PM data, air quality data, and BME to AT data on ThingSpeak server. So for that we have used this function. We have used a string and we have sent it over the internet. So it will be posting all this function on thing speak which i will show you later on so once uh, all the library are uploaded so you can go to the tools select the required board and also select the required port so once you connect your device to the computer the port will be displayed automatically so now what you do is simply click here and upload the code remember while uploading the code Disconnect the TX and RX pin from node MCU, else code won't be uploaded. Once the code get uploaded, you can reconnect the TX and RX pin again. So, let us see the result on serial monitor. So, Wi-Fi is connected. Now, you can see the value of everything is displayed on serial monitor. Let me stop and show you. So, you can see PM 1.0. 529 microgram per meter cube similarly pm 2.5 pm 10 air quality is displayed in ppm as 97.21 similarly temperature humidity pressure uh, pressure in inch and dew point all are displayed on serial monitor now what we want is we want to send all this data to thing speak so for that let's set up the thing speak so once the code is uploaded using this API key now you can go to private views and then you can see here there is a SOM entry the data get entered here after the interval of 15 seconds so you need to get wait for 15 seconds before the data are uploaded here so let me speed up this video at 200 percent speed so you can uh, see the fast uploading of the data so this is how you can monitor the air quality online on internet using ThingSpeak and ESP8266 staying at any part of the world. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel if you like this video. Thank you.